Hello and welcome to the Rising Heritage channel. I am your host, Rising Heritage, and today I have for you the 2022 United States Mint Collector's Guide. I got this in the mailbox this past weekend. It is 7-13-2022 right now, and I want to share with you some of the interesting things within its pages. We're going to do that right now or right after station identification. Let's get into it. The 2022 Collector's Guide. Now, there's a couple of interesting things of note here that I'll be covering shortly, but it is July 2022. Why come out with this thing now? This seems like something that should come out in January to get everybody excited about the products that they have coming out throughout the rest of the year. Do you remember this? The 2021 Collector's Guide. This was pure marketing genius. At least it was for me in my case. Because I bought so many of the items from 2021 that they got their money's worth out of this advertisement. Ooh, that cost them, who knows, um, maybe a couple of dollars or so um, to send it out. Probably more to print than to actually send it out. Right on the front, you have the Morgan in peace dollars, which we haven't seen. We hadn't seen those for 100 years. So that right away got me interested in purchasing some of the items um, from last year. So the 2022 collector's guide coming out so late in the year, that doesn't make sense. Well, maybe. Let's take a look at some of the items that they have. Uh, here is the American Liberty Silver Medal. Um, so this is the thing that I am most excited about for the rest of this year. Like pretty much everything else that I want, I have on enrollment. And um, that's good enough for me. Um, I think this is the only item that is not on enrollment. And I have to be there on the day of with my clicking finger ready to... Um, um, to buy this item, and it is a beautiful item. Um, you, of course, you may remember the original came out, uh, and I originally found out about it from the 2021 Collector's Guide um, with the Bucking Bronco um, Finding Its Freedom. Pretty much redefined what we call liberty in our coinage um, by not using... Um, the archetypal female character as Liberty, but using a horse instead. Um, beautiful coin. And yeah, I will most likely be buying this when it comes out uh, a little bit later. Uh, I think next month. And here is the 24 karat American Liberty gold coin that has been on sale since 2017. Now, the Mint's got the right idea. I have to give them a hand for this. Um, it's showing in this uh, book right here for $2,815. And uh, they're actually offering the tenth, one-tenth ounce coin with it. Um, so you get that for free if you use that um, QR code uh, just a little bit above the center right area. Uh, and I haven't seen a, an advertisement for this on the Mint's page, um, but uh, this may be the only way that you can get that deal. There, it may be on the um, catalog page somewhere. This QR code definitely takes you to the catalog, but I have seen no other uh, announcement or anything to let you have this code. If you are interested in this, um, you would have to purchase it before August 15th. So I did the math a little bit earlier today. Um, you end up paying about $400 in premium for, a little bit over $400 in premium for two gold proof coins from the U.S. Mint. So um, as far as proof coins from the U.S. Mint, you're doing pretty well to only have to pay $400 over spot. So with the reduction in gold spot price over the past few days, 
pretty much all of the Mint's gold products have come down in price. Um, this one has come down almost $200 from its listed, listed price um, to, I think, um, 2,665 or 2,635, somewhere around there. Um, it's not quite enough for me to want to go ahead and purchase these coins, but like I said, you have to commend uh, the Mint. I, I have personally have never seen them do anything like this, and I think they're definitely moving in the correct direction. So are these the most exciting things about the 2022 Collector's Guide? Mm, no, not really. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is uh, most of these QR codes, there's a, about a QR code on every single page. Most of them are offering free shipping for the item that you are seeing on that page. But the most exciting thing is, again, the Morgan and Peace dollars. Yes, that is why they came out with the 2022 Collector's Guide in July of 2022. They needed to finalize the information for the Morgan in Peace dollar program. And now we know that we will be getting Morgan in Peace dollar in the uncirculated finish. Also, Morgan in Peace dollar in proof finish. And something we've never had before, the Morgan in Peace dollar in reverse proof finish. Now, I know that I'm going to buy these, unlike my hesitancy for the coin I was just talking about, the American Liberty, uh, which has been out for purchase since 2017. So the problem with that one is it's just not selling. And at some point, I want to sell my stack or sell my collection. And I just don't see a great potential for selling um, of that coin now with the Morgan and the peace dollars please forgive me for saying so I really don't care if uh, you're gonna buy these or not because I need these for my hot little hands please forgive me for saying that but it's the truth and that will make me one happy camper leave a comment down in the comment section if you think you're gonna be buying these as well Thank you for listening to the video up to this point, and please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.